For patients with hyperthyroidism due to overproduction of thyroid hormone, one treatment option is the use of antithyroid medications. There are three medications available for this with methimazole available in the United States and propylthiouracil and carbamazole available in Europe and Asia. Normal thyroid hormone production involves the coupling of iodine to a thyroglobulin molecule, which is then converted to T4 or T3 and secreted into the bloodstream. The cyanamides block the coupling of iodine and thyroglobulin and thus block the synthesis of thyroid hormone. The cyanamides are a good option for patients with Graves' disease, particularly those with active eye disease where other treatments may be contraindicated. They are also a good option for pregnant women where radioiodine would be contraindicated and surgery would not be a preferred treatment option. They are also a good option for patients with very high thyroid hormone levels when you want to gain control of their hyperthyroidism prior to considering other therapies. There are some side effects from these medications, the most common being a rash, which can occur in up to 10% of patients. The other side effects are very rare, but can be potentially life-threatening, so you do need to be aware of those. And they include agranulocytosis and hepatotoxicity. Once therapy has started, you want to measure thyroid hormone levels initially every four to eight weeks until the patient reaches normal thyroid hormone levels. The TSH can lag behind a bit, so you do not want to measure this initially, but can be used for monitoring long-term therapy. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.